Hello, golfers. Jess Frank uh, coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my channel by subscribing, liking and commenting uh, on my page. That really means a lot and really goes a long way for me to grow my channel. So thank you in advance. And today's topic, stack and tilt versus the traditional golf swing and the things that I was taught long ago that really... Um, give you all kinds of back pain and you miss hit it and trouble and just just a couple of things that really want to uh, go over with you and the misconceptions a little bit about what stack and tilt is and the comments I've been getting on my page and so one of the first things that I want to address the traditional golf swing that's been taught through the magazines uh, for a long time and and um, shown to people that's really gotten a lot of people off. The first thing is that everybody's been taught to turn, okay? Turning is an important part of the golf swing, but basically what happens is in turning, when you turn your body, you have a tendency to shift your weight to the right for a right-handed golfer. And, and it's not a good thing when you do that because if you turn your body and shift your weight to your right side, it moves the bottom of your swing back. So this is something in the traditional golf swing. And what happens is that when you shift over to the right, you hit behind the ball. And so we don't want that. We want to hit the ball solid. The other, the other part of the traditional golf swing that has been taught for so long is maintaining the right knee flex. And that's something that what happens is they shift over to the right leg and they're maintaining the right knee flex. So it kind of looks like this here. They're turned in flexion. So their golf swing can only go back so far. So it stays in a flexed over motion, restricts the left arm, restricts distance. And just something that I see is a, a common flaw for people that, that, that subscribe or have been taught to do the traditional golf swing of shift, keep the right knee flexed. And then what happens is they lose power and consistency and ball striking. So that's something too. The other part of the traditional golf swing that's been taught for so long is that you want to swing the club down the target line as long as you can back and forth, okay? So by swinging the club down the target line as far as you can back and forth, what that does as well is that promotes a very steep swing and an out to in swing, lots of toe shots, and something that, that does not bode well for hitting the ball far or solid or consistent. And so what I what to to go from there to the traditional golf swing, uh, those couple things can really, really hurt you. Now the misconception about stack and tilt is that, you know, and people have commented on this on my page, is that they're saying, well, you have to keep your weight forward the whole time. Well, that's not completely true. And they do say in stack and tilt, you want your weight forward, of course. But in your backswing, if you do the correct motion of extending, tilting, and turning your body, what happens is that the weight goes into your right heel. It's not, you're not shifting your weight. You're not keeping the right knee flexed. Um, and you're not definitely not swinging down the target line. So that's the one thing I wanted to address. So, so the traditional golf swing talks about swinging the club back and forth down the target line as long as you can, keeping the right knee flexed and shifting over to the right. So now the opposite of that for stack and tilt is that let's address the turn first. So the turn was mostly, this is a traditional golf swing. So what they fail to recognize is that there is... Uh, extending and tilting of the body. Since the ball is on the ground, you want to definitely let your body extend and tilt. So if you extend and tilt, you can see how my shoulders turn on a circle and now my left shoulder is tilted. That is super, super important. Um, the second part of, let's call about the, the right knee maintaining flex, okay? So the right knee, when I take the club back, if I want to swing really short, and resist my hips turning, which puts pressure on my back, amongst other things in my body, I'm going to allow my right knee to lengthen or straighten. Okay, so that's just a natural progression 
of how my knees flex. And so they act like pistons. So that's super important. Then the next thing that we were talking about is that the straight back, straight through swing is that there's no power in that. We got to remember, we play golf, it's a side on game. So every golf club is built on an angle. So when we hit shots, we never want to swing the club straight back, straight through down the target line. We're always looking at, okay, so if I extend and tilt and turn my body correctly at the right rates, you'll see is that the golf club now is swinging on an arc and my left arm is able to orbit my body. So this is just super important. So as I go back, you can see now I've extended my body. So, and you can see is that the club is nowhere near swinging down the target line. And then on the way back, what happens is that you can see how this club swings back up on an arc. So as I face the camera here, swing down, you can see how the club swings back up and around me on this side. So I'm never swinging the club straight back, straight through. So the traditional golf swing versus stack and tilt, um, very interesting. Um, a lot of studies have been doing it, but I subscribe and prescribe to the situation where the best players in the world extend, tilt, and turn their bodies. That's how they're able to hit the ground in the same spot every time. They're able to hit the ball far enough to play the game, and they're also able to control their direction, everything that Stack and Tilt talks about. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I like to answer all the comments. Please subscribe and like this video. Subscribe to my channel, like the video. It only helps support me uh, so I can bring you quality content and answer your questions and just keep growing. Um, I love teaching this game. So thank you so much for watching the Just Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel and uh, have a great day. And again, please, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below and I will uh, get back to you. So thanks again and we'll see you soon.